I'm just trying to feel what it means to win a bronze in Olympic. <laughs> That's the right space. From there, you can enjoy it. It feels better, isn't it? Perfect. Time for me to come down and take a few trips. Yes, just get into my world, my cover, my armor. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, jump it. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> If you could give me three important points you look for in a keeper rather, what would that be? The goalkeeper has to be a crazy person. Aggressive. No fear. Crazy. Crazy? Nah, oh, crazy. Okay. Because you just need to have that guts to stand in front of that ball. Second thing is like aggression. You need to be an aggressive person. Third thing is reflexes has to be there. You don't get much time to just think, save. Nah, you just need to save it. Then you realize, okay, I made that save. So you start with crazy and then you got to make sure you're very instinctive. Yes, These are two yes, very, very important yes, skills. Yes. So Srijesh, tell me where do we start? See, what is the first part of kitting? Nikabai, goalkeeping and wicket keeping is two different area. Correct. So goalkeeping, when you when you see a hockey goalkeeper, it is like an astronaut going on space. So you just need to protect from your toe to your head. Every part. Every part. So we start from the abdomen guards. Okay. This is the abdomen guard which I use. Okay. So it's got two productions and it's, it's wearing it in a different stylish way. Okay. Then we go with the shorts. What a complex piece of equipment. I yes. <laughs> How long does it take for you to kit? Depending. If the coach is really strict, I can kit in five minutes. If the coach is so sweet, <laughs> then I'll take 10 to 15 minutes. So these are the kickers. This is like footballer's boot. Okay. You can stop it, you can deflect it, you can kick with this. So that got an extra form here that will help you to kick the ball away from the D circle. Wow. So this is to kick basically. Yes. We'll go to the next. next. That's two leg guards. Of all the equipment, I feel this is the only one I know maybe how to use. <laughs> So you don't need an extra explanation for the leg guards? Yes. Ah, oh, no, no, no. You're wearing it the wrong leg. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, and, and specifically this chest guard, mm. they got a, a special part here. Okay. Let's protect your uh, heart. Heart. Because uh, hockey, you cannot judge the speed of the ball. Sometimes it comes like one, 150, 160, if it's a good heat. Ooh, ah. Now, that's the gloves. And in hockey, there's a rule. Okay. The goalkeeper has to have the hockey stick in his hand. So that's why they designed the glove like this. The stick comes like this. Uh -huh. And you just need to put your hand to, see, you're holding it like this. <laughs> oh, lovely. That is the transition of DK from a wicket keeper to a <laughs> hockey goalkeeper. Welcome. <laughs> I feel very safe, no doubt. I think you can see there's not any part of my body that's exposed, but it is so tiring to be wearing this. Without Srijesh, basically there's no chance I could have padded up this way. Impossible. Even though the equipments are light, I just feel heavier. <laughs> so you are lucky. You are in the modern era. This, uh, this maximum weight is like uh, 7 to 8 kgs. Okay. Or max to maximum is 10 kgs. Why am I lucky? Because when I started, uh -huh. I used to pad up with the clothing ones. Okay. That uh, that weights you normally 17 to 18 kg. Oppa. And <laughs> and when it is rain, that goes past 20 kgs. Yo. When you stand here, it's always about you have the guts to face the ball. First thing. Second thing, touch the ball. You save it. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. Pada. Breakfast up and later. One smashed into the top post. 
That is normal. That will come on your helmet. Yo. So don't think that's a bouncer and dunk it. Okay, just uh, save it. Save it, no? Okay. Yo. Oh yeah, ready? Pyaar se, huh? Hey. No tension, Achha. aram se. Pyaar se. Slow boy. Ready, let's go. Try to reach out with your hands. No. Just touch the ball. Wait, 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 wait. Glove, glove, glove. Okay. अबे अभी अंदर नहीं मारेगा तो दस दस पुशअप मरवाऊंगा मैं ना यू बिकम इन बिकन कीपिंग पोजिशन सो दैट्स द बेसिक्स ऑफ गोल कीपिंग देन वी विल मूव इन टू पेनाल्टी कॉर्नर पेनाल्टी कॉर्नर ऑल राइट फ्रॉम यर ही पुश ओके गो यू से एंड यू से Bap re bap. <laughs> this one, this one I saved. Then I realized I saved. We always look at their feet, where they look, how they hold the stick. Watch the ball there. You get the angle. You get the speed. You saved it. Boya, pyar se. Unka speed to forget it. No chance. Ali, ali, ali. See, that's because your hands is here. Your leg, legs are dead. If you keep your hands is here. Your legs will move. Correct. Ah! If it comes, you just stop it. You see it? I thought it was going to hit. No. <laughs> Because you are a cricketer, you are trying to hit it with this. We last one more. Oh yeah! No, say it. Tuck. This big it is. <laughs> Boss. Goal keeping? No. Wicket keeping <laughs> easy. I'm done. <laughs> And now, I'll tell you what is the variation which we can do in this. So what they do is now he push, he stops, he drags, and someone else will come and deflect the ball into the net. Lovely. See, it's it's like you are just going for that ball. Either you get it or you concede it. But you just need to try for, for it. Oi. Yo. That's it. This all balls you get hit sometimes. But it's fine. <laughs> Yo. You just need to stay there till the time he release the ball. Ha. Huh. Otherwise he can flick straight. <laughs> That's your legs. That's your legs. <laughs> When the ball comes for keeping, I'm so used to just taking. It's not coming only. Last one. Let's go. Boss, goalkeeping is too hard, boss. I'm done. Boy, goalkeeping to both हो गया अभी. आपको पता है इतना सामान उठाना है. थोड़ा जान भी तो चाहिए. Let's go to the gym. और कुछ सीखना है. Let's go. So basically, for the goalkeeper's explosion, I mean, this movement is very important. So wherever you stand, you explode from here. Yes, reaching up. So I was a short put athlete before in my school days, because I was a fatty guy, small height. So my team were better than me. Then I went for football, but there were a lot of football players already packed in that football. And in Kerala, football is yes, very famous. Exactly. Then I tried volleyball. I was not good enough. Then I saw hockey. There were a lot of youngsters who was learning the basics of hockey. Then in Kerala, if you play for Kerala team under 17 or under 14, you will get a grace mark in your in your board exams. Board exam. Hockey was not easy because you know that now you experienced it. You need to bend. You need to play. That was really tough for me. And over to that, you need to run. So I was a fatty guy. I didn't like running at all. So I I seen these goalkeepers with everything what you wear today. Not that much, but still standing in a corner and kicking the ball. Huh. I was like, okay, that was pretty funny because they are not doing anything. They are not running. They are just wearing the pad and kicking the ball. So I thought this is the right position for me. Because you don't need to run, you are a part of the hockey team, and you will get the grace mark. 
That's how I become. So the goalkeeper. journey started because you wanted grace mark. Exactly. And you have become <laughs> India's greatest goalkeeper. In a tournament, Aslan Shah, 2017. So we had we played against Australia, and I had a collision with one of the Australian player. So on my right knee, I had ACL, MCL, and meniscus. So the next day, I took MRI, and the coach came and he said, "Sir, it's a grade three injury." So grade three means you can't, uh, you know, rehab it. You just need to go for a reconstruction. Surgery. Yes, surgery. Then, uh, as long as I knew about the ACL injury, it's all about your career-threatening one. Correct. Because of the meniscus, they said three weeks no weight bearing, and three weeks I was on bed because. So this is soon after Rio. Yes, soon after Rio. That time I was a captain for the team. Anyway, everything was going smoothly, but suddenly it happened. Then it was dark. Suddenly you are nowhere. So, in our mind, there is a lot of negativity. Negative, 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 negative. And you know that the media is also like this. In a tournament, the goalkeeper is good that they will replace you, they will forget you. And the next one is like, hey, we got a new wall of Indian hockey. Then I thought, what should I do now? Luckily, I blessed with a boy that time. So I spent that first one month with him. So that was a good distract for me. <laughs> then I started to read. I mean, I know I started to read about uh, this Andrea Garcia's uh, open. Open. Book. Yes. In that, I read that okay, he had so many injuries. He came. Then after that, he came back. He world number one. Bana. Then somewhere I felt like okay, you can also do that. Then that dream. वो जो सपना देखा था मैंने यार एक और बार लास्ट टाइम एक और बार मुझे वो ब्लू जैसी पहनना है दिस थिंग पुश मी बट इट वाज गुड मैंने अभी भी सोचता हूं वो इंजरी अच्छा के लिए हुआ है क्योंकि हम लोग के लिए अपना गेम ही सब कुछ होता है बट वो इंजरी के बाद लाइफ ने सिखाया कि अरे यार ये गेम टेम्पररी है दिस इज अ फेस ऑफ लाइफ इसके बाद भी एक लाइफ है वो भी एंजॉय करना है So how do you, you know, switch from the 16 Rio that happened, which was probably not uh, your best moment, but 2020, you made the ultimate save for us to get that bronze medal. How was that as a feeling? It was like a relief. They scored, we scored. That was like a tennis match, and it's almost like we ended up in a score like five four. In the last few seconds, the technical table made an error. The stopwatch stopped. It's not good because it hasn't started again either. Still sitting on 29.8. But the umpire asked to play on. India are under pressure. Can they hang on for another 10 seconds? Germany looking for one last chance. This is the danger zone off a foot penalty corner. Six seconds left. That's like okay. Then it's all about okay. Goalkeeper. Who is the goalkeeper? Now people are searching who is the goalkeeper. Then I'm there. We got one more match. We got one more chance to win a medal. And before the match, in the team meeting, we had our normal team talk. And Graham, our team coach, he said, "Everyone stand on their chairs." So we all stand like this. And he said, "Just close your eyes and feel it like somebody is putting." That bronze medals. Tokyo 2020's bronze medalists. Everyone got that goosebumps. You feel it like, okay, we are getting it. And he said, just go for it. That moment is like, is if I close it, close my eyes, I can still feel it. Great save! India have done it. India have won the first medal in the men's hockey since 1980. I can still feel that the joy, the players crying, that everyone is doing something else. And over the next few years, what can they create? I was like, okay, we got a medal. What is next? The team is capable to win a medal in uh, Paris, but the journey towards that it's it's not easy. Who is taking advantage of that day? He is the real champion. So now, 
you obviously taught me the basics of goalkeeping. Yes. In the gym, you showed me what all needs to be done. Yes. You've done most of the bulk of heavy lifting <laughs> and everything else. The one last attempt, I want to uh, try and stop penalties. Yes. Sound a boom, man. Che. Udar jana ta kisi ko pata bhi na chalna che. That's the speed. So if I if I stand, so I stand like this. And he played. So you say. Wow, ma, ma, ma. <laughs> Five flicks, huh? Let's see how many you save. All right, let's go. Let's go. It's a challenge, huh? Hey, yeah, yeah, speed to forget. Aram se. So your hands should not go. Ah, see, perfect. Stay there. Perfect. Three, two, one. Glow. Not cheek. Glow. I need cricket bat, I think. <laughs> <laughs> ah, glow. Glow is not. That's a save. Last one. Yes, last one. Last you got one. <laughs> I have seen you do this phenomenal drill. Where everybody is hitting it towards you. I want to see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Abhi dekhta hum dus mein kitna speed hota hai. Yes, let's see. Match intensity. Amma, ready? Okay, let's go. भैया 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 पड़ा तुम लोग को मौका दिया गोल नहीं मारा अभी वेरी गुड वेरी गुड थैंक यू बट दैट वॉज ब्रिलियंट आउटस्टैंडिंग I thoroughly enjoyed every second of it, but I must say I'll stick to my keeping glove <laughs> because I don't think goalkeeping is uh, by any chance easy. But for most importantly, just the physicality aspect is um, quite mind-boggling. The speeds at which they hit. Sometimes in TV, people don't realize the speed at which the ball Sorry. travels. You know, so what you do is a very thankless job. It's a very hard job, and you've been doing it wonderfully well for so many years now. But if it does end up being one of your, you know, swan song or so to say, one of your last Olympics, may you have the best Olympics and you do fantastically well. And um, may the powers of God be with you and you can do everything possible to bring a medal home. And that'll be the dream for every Indian to see CJ sitting yet again on that goalpost <laughs> and making sure the medal is with us. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you. Thank Go you well. Much, it's Thank been you an absolute much. pleasure meeting Great. you. It's a pleasure, man. Thank you.